Hi, welcome to the lesson one, Introduction to Programming. So before we start our learning course of C++, let's have some background knowledge to get started and to dive into the world of programming. So programming is the process of giving instructions to a computer to perform a specific task. It is the way of communicating with machines like computers, calculators, mobiles, digital devices like smartphones, digital devices like smartwatches, etc. All of these digital devices are controlled and instructed by a programming language. What is a programming language? A set of rules that allows humans to communicate with computers using a specific syntax. For example, Python, Java, C++, JavaScript, and MATLAB, etc. There can be various types of programming languages out there. The main two types that often are discussed are high-level languages and low-level languages. High-level languages are those kind of languages that are human-friendly and they have such kind of syntax that a human can easily understand and they can develop uh, their own codes and softwares in it. And they can easily control the hardware with the help of those high-level languages. The language that you are going to learn in this course is C++. C++ is a general purpose programming language that builds upon the features of the C programming language. C++ is a compiled language meaning the code is translated into machine readable instructions before execution. Now C++ is also called a high level language as well as medium level language. So some experts consider C++ in between the high level language and low level language. The reason for that is that it's close relationship with the hardware. So in often cases when you saw someone is preferring to utilize the hardware very well and to perform their task very fast and very quickly, they will prefer C++ language over the others. C++ languages can be used in various important fields like system programming, designing operating systems and device drivers, applications development like desktop applications and especially for games. The modern day games like PUBG, Fortnite, etc. are all created with the help of C++ programming. Embedded systems, IoT devices, microcontrollers, Performance critical applications, high performing computing and simulations. Graphics and game development utilizing libraries like OpenGL. So C++ can be used in various fields and to perform very important and high intensity tasks. C++ supports OOP principles as well like encapsulations, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. C++ has a built-in standard template library that is a collection of pre-built classes and functions. Standard template library also contains vectors, lists, map, sets, etc. algorithms for the purpose of sorting, searching, and manipulation of data. So this STL can be very useful in terms of data structures and algorithm. What are the advantages of C++? Performance, efficient and low level memory control. As I told you earlier, it is a high level language, but some consider it to be the between the low level and high level languages. And it is suitable for a wide range of applications as well. And it has been around there for more than five decades. So it has a large community and active user community as well. What is the compilation process? Compilation means converting human readable source code into machine code. A software tool that translates C++ code into machine code is called compiler. It usually consists of the following steps like pre-processing, compilation, assembly and linking. 
the output file that you will see after running your code in a compiler will have an extension like .exe on Windows. What is an algorithm? A step-by-step -step sequence of instructions to solve a given problem is called an algorithm. The real-life example could be following a recipe to bake a cake. So what is the purpose of learning programming languages? So first we saw the technical side of learning the programming languages and how it can make you able to make uh, useful applications and some quality content for the environment. But what actually a programming does to your mind is to give you the problem solving capabilities. It, it opens up your mind and you learn a lot of concepts and logic building techniques. So problem solving is one of the best skill that every one must have like software engineers or any kind of engineers or you are a person related to any kind of management organization or any other organization. So what is a problem solving? Problem solving is breaking a complex problem into smaller manageable parts. Real life examples could be solving a jigsaw puzzle by working on sections. Patrons. Recognizing common elements in different problems. Real life example could be applying strategies from solving a rubrics cube to similar puzzles. So what learning a programming language does to your mind that it gives you the capability of thinking in, in unimaginable ways that you may not be able to think about it previously. So it gives you that capability to think logically and to solve problems and to recognize patterns and deal with data and deal with the behavior and deal with the changes of the environment as well. So it is very important to learn a programming language. So in next video, we will learn the basic syntax of C++ programming language. I hope this introductory video was enough to get you familiar with the world of programming. So I'll see you guys in the next video.